All right. In the meantime, we've got progressive radio host uh, Garland Nixon on if pushing for single uh, payer is the right option for Democrats. Some are concerned, as you know, Garland, that uh, it, it looks a little too out there. Uh, that's why the establishment of the party, I don't know what that is anymore, um, are not necessarily in sync with what Senator Sanders wants to do. Where do you think this is going? Oh, I think it's a, a, the good thing I think about it poli uh, politically is this, and it's, it is this, that the Democrats have a, an affirmative plan. You know, right now the Republicans are against Obamacare, but they don't have an affirmative plan. They don't have something to sell to the voters. I think it's going to work, and I think the strategy here is to push it in the long run and, and to let people know that single payer is simply Medicare. Uh, uh, and the fact of the matter is that 93 percent of the people on Medicare already approve of it. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a good play for the Democrats, both politically and ultimately to solve the health care uh, crisis that we've been experiencing for many years. I'll, I'll respectfully disagree with you on money terms here, but I do see the logic of what you're saying in that, uh, for example, I thought Senator Sanders was very honest during the campaign when he said he would hike taxes pretty much on everybody, the middle class and, and, and the upper class to pay for this. So he, he realized that this couldn't just be borne by a few uh, and that it would be very instrumental and helpful for all. So he was at least coming from the math point of view that this is how you pay for it. But that's, I think, what sticks to the crop people like Chuck Schumer, maybe Nancy Pelosi. I don't know about Nancy Pelosi. I do know about Chuck Schumer. That they fear that it, they're going to be labeled or the Democrats are going to be labeled a party of tax hikes, not just on the upper income but on the middle class, how, how do they respond? How do you respond to that? I think that's an easy one. When you look at the real numbers, let's just say there's a 1% or 2% tax, tax hike. Let's say you pay an extra $300 a month in, 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 um, in taxes. The fact of the matter is people are paying $500, $800, $1,000 a month. It's, it would be bad if people still had to pay the kind of numbers that they're paying for health care that people are complaining about and had to pay taxes. But when you look at the numbers and you don't pay that $1,000 that a lot of families are paying, and now let's say you pay $300, Ultimately, the no, numbers see, are going no, to work out in people's favor. There's, there's a lot of logic to what you're saying. I understand. Um, you know, Garland, one thing I did want to pick your brain a little bit about is this fear that whatever the merits of that argument, I see what you're saying, that the, the party is going to look more big government, drive further left, and that's what worries. I know the establishment is always such a dangerous thing to say in either party, but, but that is what worries the establishment in your party, that it's a sure way, the hard left way, or whatever you want to interpret it as a is a sure loser um, and post Hillary Clinton and then all this musing about why she lost um, the party then drives further left further diminishing its chances of taking back the White House or the House or the Senate what do you think well, uh, two things. Number one, and that is, if you look at the real numbers, you know, I was one of the people that predicted Donald Trump would win on Fox News. And what I said was, you only have to do three things to win. Turn out your base, turn out your base, and turn out your base. <laughs> and the, the Democrats, in my opinion, didn't lose because they did, went too far to the left. If you look at Michigan, there were, uh, she got like... 50 or 60,000 less votes than Obama. She got somewhere around 30,000 less votes than President Obama in Detroit alone, and she only lost the state by 12,000 votes. So in my opinion, the Democrats need to get their base out. And if you look at the numbers, the abominable numbers that they've had over the last eight years of losing, I think they need to move towards their base, not away from their base. All right. They've got to get the num people there to vote in order to, on their base. And I think this is a good way, because it is so popular with the Democratic base. Yeah, but then others might say they're, they're, they're repelled by it, right? Well, it's, it's certainly. But if you look at the Republican Party, who that, and the Republicans have had a lot of success, and they haven't had a lot of success by going in the opposite direction away from their base. Look at the two parties. The Republican Party has gone towards their base, and they beat the daylights out of the Democrat for eight, eight years. The Democrats are going away from their base. They're losing, and they're okay. still arguing that they need to go further away from their base. I think you're still trying to beat down that Nixon last name of yours. <laughs> but whatever. Garland Nixon, a very good having you. Thank you very, very Thank much. Thank you.